Hey guys, it's Shannon. I'm coming to you today with a little bit of a different kind of video. I've talked about leading no trace principles and different ways that you could recreate responsibly, um, whether that's planning ahead and preparing, making the outdoors an inclusive and accepting place, um, picking up trash where you are, all those kind of things. And those are incredible things that you guys should remember when you go recreate outdoors, whatever that looks like. Um, but I kind of want to talk about a little conservation debate, and this is not necessarily me sharing my side or opinion on this matter. Um, I kind of want to hear from you guys and what you guys think. Um, a lot of people are on two different sides of the spectrum um, in terms of how should we recreate outdoors and to what extent. Um, some people are on one side that are like, open up all the outdoor spaces. Let everyone explore the outdoors so that they can see the importance of it and see why it's so special to us and why we want to keep it safe um, and why we want to focus on conservation so much. We need people to see it so they can understand the importance of it and that way they can give, help out, volunteer, whatever that looks like. Um, and then there's people on the, the opposite side who are like closed down all outdoor spaces, at least the like really special ones like national parks or national forests or those kind of things. Close down as many outdoor spaces as we can so we can preserve it to, to the extent that we can um, and keep it from having more of a human impact. Um, and I completely understand that side too. Um, but the argument for that is you know how are people going to know the importance why should they care a lot of people are probably going to break the rules and go anyways or you know how are people going to be able to enjoy the outdoors if they can't even see it um but on the flip side we let everyone come in and while there's a lot of people who are going to do their best um to recreate responsibly and to lessen their impact reduce it um and take care of outdoor spaces there's going to be a lot of people who aren't going to care um and even with all the educational resources that we're providing them and all the people trying to minimize that impact, there's gonna be those people who are going to not practice wildfire safety, uh, campfire safety, and then, you know, there's gonna be fires that are gonna happen. Um, there are people who are gonna leave their trash and litter, no matter how many times you tell them and how obvious it is that you just shouldn't litter, people are gonna do it anyway. Um, people who are going to camp on meadows, people who are going to put soap and wash their dishes in rivers. Um, no matter how many times we tell them and show them and, you know, show them the importance of keeping our environment safe, there's just always going to be people, you know, ruining those outdoor spaces. And so what do you guys think? Um, do you think there should be a, a middle ground? Uh, opening up some spaces, um, preserving other ones. Do you think we should shut them down all completely or open them all completely? Um, if there should be restrictions, maybe you can explore but no camping. Um, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, this is an area I'm still trying to grow and learn in. Obviously, I love recreating outdoors and there's so many special places to me that I would love for not to get shut down um, because I would love to continue exploring it and would love for generations to come, perhaps my children one day if that happens, you know. Um, I would hate if there were so many restrictions that they couldn't even experience what I've been able to experience in the outdoors. But at the same time, um, if it comes down to it and the only way to preserve it certain areas is to shut it down you know that's something that I would consider um so just would love to hear your side what do you think